welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19. Your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, we're here on Goldcrest Valley. That's right. For 19. Goldcrest Valley 19. <sighs> we're moving everything down south a little bit. We got another project to do for the for our farm. Um, got to start this beast up here. I had it down on the trailer so nobody would uh, just drive off with the trailer. Uh, and, and yes, around here, folks, they do do that. So, yeah, let me pick that up. Fortunately, they do do that here. And yeah, it's kind of. Kind of bad, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll get back down about there. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, today's episode well, we're gonna be planting soybeans, uh, moving stuff to the next job site, starting on it a little bit, which is gonna be right down where we, uh, you see down there by 19, all the yellow dots. Yeah, that's where we're going to be working at between 19, 24, and down the edge of 24 by the highway. Um, yeah, you're probably like, uh, where'd all your money go, Mr. Blue? Oh, the folks, if, if you just knew, that right, mirror needs to be adjusted. I ain't going to trust that. Well, I do have wire right, don't I? Back up here. There we go. Whoa, that trailer's a little heavy. Yeah, I miss this truck. We had a F100, about like this. It was a three speed. Wasn't no four wheel drive, though. it was just two wheel drive. That was a pretty nice truck. Um, I don't know if that actually works, but we're going to try it and see. But I'm going to take this on down to 19, and uh, when I get there, I'll show you what's around the corner, okay? Be right back. Alright, folks, everything's in place. Now I want to come over here and show y'all the equipment. I got the bell wrapper. And we have a wind row machine. We got the 4640. Of course, it's two-wheel drive. That's well, all I could afford, really. Well, we did get a four-wheel drive tractor, but we got two of the 4640s. Pretty good deal, folks. And we got the 4960 here, the tractor of my dreams. It's awesome. It's about the most highest thing that I bought. And let's see, what was this? Uh, 12 row, I think, or 16 row? Let's see, one, two. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, 12 row. Um, they had two different kinds. They had one with the wheel helpers, is what I call them. Help support the planter when you lift it up uh, on a three point hitch, or it didn't have these and it had markers. Well, I tested it for a little bit, and the markers don't work, so I was decided to go with this version of it just in case y'all ask. And the tanks are already filled with uh, fertilizer, starter jump fertilizer, whatever you want to call it. And of course, you know, a cultivator here. That's why I put the two-wheel drive on it. But that's not really why I bought the two-wheel drives. Um, we're going to need one on uh, this thing. And then we're going to need something on the baler. And we got to take our international here and start it up and go mow. So I figured that's what we'll get started on while um, 
I'm just gonna say no star reviews is up there playing. Supposed to be friends, but I ain't got the name tricks yet, so we're just gonna say no stars up there playing. Or soybeans. And here's our other field that's gonna be planted in soybeans. And the other one over is going to be cotton. Yes. And uh we can take these four trees out here too. And all this is gonna be leveled and this is gonna be our grass spot. It's not much. But hey, what can I say? Alright, green on red. Let's see how this is gonna work. There's my here. Yes it is. Cool. That might be a little bit too loud being that close. But we're mowing folks. Alright, I can't get in a candy store. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, a speedy here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it speedy. It's where I mow it, and, and I'm gonna put some music to it and fast forward. And hopefully, y'all will enjoy it. And so, here we go. Folks, I had to come back over here and reset him to. Cause, oh, hello. Got to be a bit careful. I'm gonna move this rig. I uh, don't know where to put it. In a way, I like to have this as a solid feel. We're just flatten everything out smooth as we can. There's a lot of small brushes in here that brushes, brushes, brush like that right there. That and those little trees right there beside the mini. I just don't have any idea how to get rid of them because I can't go in GE get rid of them so yeah kind of messed up there I'm not running that thing yet but yeah we uh, I'm gonna be a little bit before we get to these I'm gonna go over here um, let's check on the chickens over here put their feed in here 
429 liters left. Uh, any eggs yet? Yeah, they got. Wait, what? Oh, just one box. Great demand at barn. What's a great demand for? Let's go in here real quick. Sullage. It'd be nice. By the time we get ours wrapped and everything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you hear that chicken? Burr, burr, burr. You ain't finished yet. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Instead of trying to walk smoothly, it's like a yo yo or rubber band effect or whatever you'll call it. Two ninety five left. Um, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I guess they wanted me to feed them on the inside, too. Tell you what, I'm just going to leave this outside. It's not the most rain that I know of, but we are still looking wet. Drop it. I'm going to get back to my tractor. Just run it. I'm going to shut it off. Motor's all running. Oh my. Not good. Well, folks, I'm going to uh, finish mowing this, and then I'm going to come back with the wind roller and see if we can roll this up. It'll be kind of hard with these big hills, but we're just going to get what we can. Just, yeah, because that right there is going to slide, so we'll mow what we can, collect what we can, and go from there. Uh, so I won't see y'all in a minute, or actually a second for y'all. Might be about an hour for me. Be right back. All right, folks, we are raking and bailing. Uh, 4,000 liter bales. There goes my phone. Uh, be making a bale here in just a second. It should auto unload. There it goes. I'm kind of taking it kind of slow because this is rough. And you see, I didn't get to mow all of it. Does the like the hills right here is just, we got more flatter ground, so yeah, it's just pulling us every which way. And I sure don't want to break nothing. So we're just gonna get what we can get out of it and go from there, uh, like the one on the other side over here and then up there where we was cutting at. And don't forget we were over by the train station. They want us to mow that for them. And uh, yeah, so we might get quite a bit. Now, I do want to make some hay. All this is going to be sellage, so it's going to help get our money back up. Um, because we still got about a combine, about uh, seed tender, which is what I want to get, and also we need to get a uh, semi truck or bob truck or something to haul our grain in once we do all that. Maybe a, a small silo or something, put some of that in, especially with soybeans. So, yeah, you know, we got a lot to do, but also we got a lot of logs cut too, so I think we'll be all right money-wise as long as we take it easy. See so, yeah, how many, is that two so far? I don't know what that two is on the side of that there. And it's still the same too, so that's and how many bells we made. Alright, here's the fun part. 
I do have the speed turned down. We we can go faster than this, but since we're not on flat ground, and I know these bells going to road somewhere. Don't know where. But, uh oh, might not make up these hills. Come on, baby, pull. Just don't roll back into our baler. Oh yeah, we're doing pretty good. What's up for here? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, we're tend to be doing pretty good now if we can get up here before he gets making a bail. Be all right. If not, it's going to roll back. Now, I don't want to get hit by a train either. Oh, right there on the hill. That's not good. It's going to roll down. Definitely going to roll down. There's our pickup truck and trailer over there with the crawl. And look right between the trees there, there's our harvester. I'm thinking about getting rid of that and, and getting one with wheels so we don't have to worry about crossing the highway and stuff. Then again, we could you know, have two going. That's what would be nice if we can get uh, like a server or something where y'all could play with me. That would be nice. Oh, here comes a train. I was hoping I get this done before he comes. Oh, I got a long ways. Oh, what 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 happened to? Um, hey you. Did you hit my tractor? What happened to Mr. Yankee? Mr. Yankee? Was it Mr. Yankee driving that? I think it was. I can't remember who was in my tractor. I think it was Mr. Yankee. Where did he go? What happened? Oh my goodness. How? He had to be turning out here and the train hit him. And knocked him down here. Oh, this tractor's no good now. No fuel's leaking. Alright, I, I gotta see where our driver went. Folks, this is gonna conclude this episode. We gotta see where what happened. I don't I don't I'm pretty sure it was Mr. Yankee. Mr. Yankee, where are you? Alright folks, we'll see y'all in the next episode. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I know. <laughs> see you later. What happened to my driver? Later folks.